So I just uploaded a video talking about how game emulation is in danger. And then before that, I made a few videos talking about the latest firmware update for the Legends Ultimate Arcade systems. And I did get quite a few comments talking about this, people sharing their experience. So I do want to thank all of you for sharing your comments and also additional info. And one of the comments talked about how uh, at games made an update and well they definitely did so if you do go to their release notes site i will leave a link to that in the description area below they've released a new firmware 5.71 this is an opt-in only and you have to contact customer service and with this release is something that is really really disturbing and honestly this is bad news and a lot of ways i can't believe i just made this video talking about how game emulation is in danger and here's a really good example of that. So the changes that they made since 5.70 is that CoinOps X has been delisted from the App Store X and is no longer available as a startup application. This is definitely not good news for all the people who love retro gaming, who use this primarily as a multi-cade emulation device just like I do and a lot of people have reported that since they made this update they have had coin ops x have issues one sauce the uce files they aren't working and well this pretty much makes this system uh, a no-go for a lot of people and because for me that's the main reason why I bought this and if at games is gonna put out releases uh, firmware releases that break previous working software and I do understand that they didn't develop this third-party software but for the simple fact that it breaks features that are really really important to the system this is not good news for at games going forward now they do have additional facts on this and bottom line what they're saying is once you update to this they're not going to be able to support or they've never really supported you fixing third-party software once again that does make sense but why is this happening now why is it breaking things you know like one sauce and more specifically coin ops x why are they delisting this well in my opinion and this is just speculation and thought but i really feel this has to do with legal issues they do have a disclaimer on there uh ad game says they do not provide support for third-party software and applications the usage of uces and roms is completely at the owner's risk and owners take full responsibility for their usage on the ad games platforms subsequently any support for these types of issues fa falls outside of our purview and so this definitely makes sense you know from a legal standpoint i understand that and I think, in my opinion, at games is probably facing more pressure, maybe from companies like Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft. Who knows? Because at the end of the day, when people buy this product, they're buying it because it is a great emulation system. And they even talk about this. They even promote CoinOps X before. But now that they're delisting it from their Apex store, they're really not offering any support for these other third-party software. And if they keep doing this going forward, which looks like this is going to be the trend, um, I don't think people are going to buy as many of these systems. You know, Ad Games knows this is why people buy it. This is how they made their money and their name. But if this is where they're going uh, in the future, then, well, I guess Ad Games is going to go down with it. And maybe there's nothing they could do if it is related to a legal issue. And, you know, this kind of makes me think that any upgrades to the system, whether you buy a whole new system or you buy a PCB board for it, you know, they have upgrades for that. Is it going to even be worth upgrading if you know that the emulation will no longer be working? And so those are my thoughts on that. Uh, once again, I do want to thank everybody who's left comments and notes on this. And I was really hoping for the best that Ad Games would provide something that would at least allow these older uh, versions, older emulation systems to work, but it looks like that is not the case. And well, it doesn't look like this is gonna be fixed anytime soon or maybe ever. So if you actually had any thoughts on this, be sure to leave in the comments area below. And if you did wanna see my previous videos talking about how game emulation is in danger or the firmware release whenever it came out, uh, I'll leave those links in the description area below. And man, 
this is really a sad day. I mean, being an ad games owner, I really do love this system and I still do. I'm definitely not going to update my system, but I really feel bad for everybody who owns these systems and I've already updated. And also for people who are thinking about buying this in the future. So that's it. See you on another episode. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below.